Hey everybody, welcome to the Two Guys in a Cooler channel. Today we're going to be making a Spanish salami called Chorizo Zamorano. And this is a fairly popular salami in the Zamora province of España. And I'm very excited to make this salami today. This particular salami is well-rounded, balanced in its flavors, slightly smoky, and absolutely delicious. If you're short on patience, this may be a great salami for you to make because it's a small diameter salami and ready in only several weeks. Let's show you how we make it. To get started, we're gonna get our hands on some pork back fat, and we're just gonna cut that into small cubes. This salami is known for its distinct marbling, and I'll show you how to do that through this recipe, but once we cut that up into cubes, let's just go ahead and set that to the side. In addition to the fat, we're gonna use some pork shoulder. You may recognize this. This is the copa muscle from the pork shoulder, but any portion of the pork shoulder will work, and we're just gonna cut that into medium-sized chunks, small enough to fit into the grinder head. We need to now chill our meat, and once it's chilled, let's grind it on a six millimeter plate. Our meat's gonna go back in the freezer and let's get our casings ready. We're using sheep casings. They've been rinsed, they're now soaking. We get these casings from the sausage maker. We've got 22, 24 millimeter. You can go a little smaller, a little bigger. Depending on how big you go will determine how long it takes for these to be ready. We're gonna set that to the side and get our starter culture ready. We're using the starter culture flavor of Italy. Absolutely amazing starter culture, and I'll tell you why through the process of this video. But to get this starter culture ready, we simply mix a little bit of it with some distilled water, and I'll have a recipe in the description box below with very specific quantities. Once you have it mixed, give it a little swirl or stir it well to dissolve the starter culture, and we're gonna set that to the side. This needs to rehydrate for 30 minutes. So while the meat is chilling, the starter culture is rehydrating. That's what's going on now. And let's look at the seasonings we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using kosher salt. I've got Instacure number one, and we're not using number two in this recipe because it only takes about three weeks to be ready. We're also using dextrose. Dextrose is gonna feed our starter culture. And then of course our paprikas, we're using pimenton de la verra, both picante and dulce, that's sweet and spicy. We've also got some garlic powder, pepper, and some dried oregano. So that's our profile. Our meat has been rechilled, and we're just gonna put this in our KitchenAid stand mixer. I wanna say I'm doing roughly about 2.2 pounds. That's one kilo in this stand mixer. I'm gonna add my seasonings, and I'm gonna go ahead and just slowly drizzle in my starter culture. It's important to have your meat chilled before you mix it. It's not only gonna keep the fat from smearing, but it's also gonna give you incredible marbling and particle definition. Now that our starter culture has been added, we're just gonna continue mix on a low to a medium low until our mix becomes incredibly sticky, incredibly tacky. And when you grab a little handful of it and you turn your hand upside down, it should stick to your hand. As soon as that happens, you can stop mixing and go ahead and stuff it into your sheep casings. Once you're finished stuffing your meat, take whatever's left over in your hopper and in your stuffing horn and wrap it in some cling film. We're gonna use this little bit of mince to test the pH once it's finished fermenting. With a sausage pricker, we're gonna prick our salami, making sure we don't have any visible air pockets. I'm just gonna prick it all the way around. And then I'm gonna put it on a scale so that I can weigh it. I wanna record two weights, my actual weight and then my target weight. My target weight's gonna be about 40% weight loss. And now it's time to ferment. And this is one of the things that I love about Flavor of Italy. I'm just gonna leave this covered in cling film on my counter. We're gonna ferment this for 24 hours at 75 to 85 Fahrenheit. My kitchen's about 75 Fahrenheit, so this is just gonna sit on the countertop. Covering it with cling film is gonna keep the humidity high because I'm looking for about an 85% relative humidity, and we're gonna target a pH drop of 4.9 to 5.2. 
After 24 hours, we're gonna test the pH of our sample to see if it's ready to start drying. A couple things to look for to see if your fermentation went well is the texture of your sample is gonna be more firm. If you press on it, you're gonna distinctly notice that it no longer feels like your mincemeat. It's gonna actually feel more like a solid mass. So let's grab our pH meter. This is the Apera Instruments PH60S-Z. Great pH meter, highly recommend it, very easy to use. We're just gonna stick that into the mead and read the screen. And it looks like our pH is 5.07, which is well within our range. It's time to clean off the pH meter and then go ahead and begin the drying process. The hard work is now officially behind us. We're just gonna place this chorizo zamorano into our drying chamber, or if you happen to have a cellar or a basement, uh, this can dry in there as well. You just wanna monitor the temperature and the humidity of your area. This particular chorizo needs to dry slow so we don't get any type of case hardening or anything like that. And in order to do that, we're gonna use the Evadry 1100. Now that's the dehumidifier, and that's gonna be working in conjunction with a cool mist humidifier. This is gonna regulate the humidity inside of our chamber. And all of that is controlled by two controllers. This green controller controls the temperature that's set to 55 degrees. And this blue controller controls the humidity that's set to 80%. And it toggles between the humidifier and the dehumidifier. So we're just gonna let that hang out in there for two to three weeks until we lose the right amount of moisture. We've now hit our target weight loss. It's time to take it out, cut it, and give it a little taste. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.